The vision for a Christian television station for Pittsburgh and surrounding areas, including portions of West Virginia and Ohio, came during a visit by Norma Bixler to CBN 700 Club in August 1969 in Portsmouth, Virginia. Norma returned to Pittsburgh to be met with an initial negative reaction from her husband, Russ, who was heavily involved with pastoring a church, the Greater Pittsburgh Charismatic Conference, and speaking engagements. But he eventually saw the light and is today the president of Western Pennsylvania Christian Broadcasting Company. Norma, you'll never forget the time the Lord gave you the, the concept. How did this all begin? I was just sitting in the, uh, just inside the front door at CBN all alone and just enjoying, relaxing with no responsibilities. And the Lord said, I want a, a Christian television station in Pittsburgh. This is where Pat Robertson began to shout it from the housetops. CBN Network was born here. And so was Channel 40. I sat in this chair and I marveled and I praised God at what he'd done here. And then he said, I want a Christian television station in Pittsburgh. I couldn't believe my ears. I really couldn't. And then he said, I want you and Russell to build the station. And I thought, what would we use for money? And he said, it's there. Who would want to be on our station? I'll send the people. And that's how we began, right here in this room. I walked in the studio and I, I looked around and I thought, if we're going to have a station, I better look around and see what all I can see. And so I walked around from set to set and God began to speak to me again. And he said, you're going to do this program and that program. And over here in this, pro this corner of your studio, you'll be doing this kind of program. And he showed me what it was going to look like. Yes, there was a lot of hard times. A lot of heartaches, a lot of agony, but God put Channel 40 on the air. She came home from down at CBN, and uh, and she told me all of what God had shown her and had told her down there. And I said, I'm not interested. I've got all I can handle right now. And so for uh, for some days, Norma argued with me. She cried, and then suddenly she just got quiet about it. She never said another word to me. And I got that uncomfortable feeling that she had quit arguing with me and started putting the burden on the Lord. And he took over from there. And five months after she was there, then the Lord spoke to me and made it very clear that we were to build this Christian TV station here in Pittsburgh. With the land purchase completed in August 1976 and costs estimated for equipment and station operations, a telethon was held on a local television station to gain support for the project. Many stayed with the vision and prayed with Russ and Norma during those trying times, including a group of ladies often referred to as Norma's Prayer Group. You know, when you get seven women to agree to something just like that, that's a miracle. But uh, they were all excited. We just, there wasn't anybody up here but the birds and, and the trees, and we just had a real praise time, and then we just thanked the Lord, and... Uh, well, we just hated to leave, and we just felt the power of God here, and we all were really blessed. And prayer is the real capstone to this ministry, isn't it? Well, that, that's certainly true, Bill, because it is utterly impossible to start with nothing and put up a $2 million operation. WPCB-TV was destined in God's time to go on the air Easter Sunday, April 15th, 1979. She's got us in Fox Chapel. Karen and Wes Mifflin. Okay, Wes Mifflin and Whitaker. Pitt Karen. Pitt Karen, good. Where, where else? Hazelwood. Very good picture in Hazelwood. Praise God. That's wonderful. Well, this is really exciting. It is. Wow. <laughs> Folks, we got a, you got a special treat if you call us this morning because we got all our board of directors sitting on the telephone <laughs> and their wives. Please welcome the host of the program and our own TV40 official hostess, Russ and Norma Bixler. Praise <laughs> God. Happy birthday. Amen. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Hallelujah. Great. Well, it has been one year, right, Norma? One year, and I'm so excited. Are you praising the Lord with us out there? 
Praise God, we hope you are. We're going to have a great time praising the Lord. In fact, we're, we're spending this whole week praising the Lord. Now, if you need prayer, you know where to call. Come up here, would you? <laughs> this is our oldest boy. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. And uh, they make me look like a couple of, these couple guys make me look like a midget. But uh, anyhow, Paul works for us here at Channel 40. He's a director, producer, or whatever. I'm not sure. But uh, these guys, these guys understand things about television that, that I don't have any idea of. Last week he was my boss. <laughs> what she's talking about when we went to Virginia, all these places, and you knew we went somewhere, but you didn't know quite where we were going. No, I didn't know. I, you know, I, I know we got to move along here, Stan. But, um, Olean too. Um, but, uh, but I think the reason, you know, you say you know you, you don't know anything about television. I think that's good because the Lord can use you because you don't know that it's impossible because it was it was an impossible thing and I look at this station and I wonder how, how it is still on the air you know it's a miracle every day that this station is on the air and I just thank the Lord for your obedience it really did so that is really true when God wants to do a miracle he tells somebody who doesn't know anything about it you know the person that Norma and I didn't know uh, building a Christian television station with no money was impossible. You didn't so know we did you it. couldn't do it. Just remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. <laughs> <laughs> 